Breaking news, ladies and gents. Reports coming from the Department of Creativity have shown approximately 90% of the local novice population are suffering from stiff torso syndrome. Stiff torso syndrome, or STS, is a syndrome that causes torso stiffness to your drawings. Allegedly, this is mainly caused by an artist's lack of confidence, skill, and experience in anatomy. Can we show that to the folks on national television, please? Right on. So here's a graph showing a clickbait and ad-free statistics of beginners having STS. As you folks may have noticed, the red graph right here represents a whopping 90% of the local novice population suffering from STS, and a daring 10% of those who survive or is resilient to the disease. We also have several drawings submitted by the Bruh. <coughs> by the director himself. <coughs> Excuse me. You better get tested for COVID, son! But director, I swallowed my saliva by accident. Get tested or get fired! In order for us to remedy STS, the voice supporter will be here once again at your side to draw the perfect torso for your waifu and we're starting right now. Before we draw the female torso, it is important to note significant features. Female bodies tend to emphasize curves mostly around the spine, the abdomen, and the hips. Welp, I know what you boys are thinking while watching this tutorial. Can't hide it now, don't you folks? And yes, I am absolutely looking at you as well, Lord Senpai. Bruh. Compared to males, female shoulders are not as broad as male shoulders as female shoulders are slimmer in general. It is important to keep these key features in mind when drawing female bodies. Going straight to the tutorial, we will start with the basic construction. First, draw a straight vertical line. This is the most significant part of every torso as it will serve as the backbone of every future step we'll take. Anatomically speaking, the spine is where all the human limbs connect together. Second, draw two rectangles to represent the chest and the hips. Don't also forget to draw two crosses to determine where to place the torso features. Now at the two corners of the rectangle, draw two small circles to represent the shoulders and uh... Two things that... I won't even dare to pronounce. Just say it! Okay, the breast. Third, slowly refine their shapes. In my case, I tend to draw the outlines in a shape resembling an hourglass. For an easier explanation, the chest would roughly look like an elongated trapezoid and a pentagon representing the hips. Step 4. Start drawing the actual body. Reiterating what we said back then, it is important to understand the basic features of a female body first before drawing. Last but not least, refine your shapes once more. Determine any proportional mistakes you made and start executing the necessary adjustments before finalizing. And there you have it folks, a basic female body. Still not convinced how we made it this far? We encourage you folks to take a look at references. Understanding how references work is the key to achieving great artistic heights on drawing. To better understand our use of references, we have a candidate here who allegedly wanted to learn how to create reference sheets and possibly learn how to use them. Nevertheless, we offer a big shout out to this person for requesting a tutorial. Based on the data provided by the DOC, people who are watching this video are allegedly looking for the best and easiest ways on how to draw. For more information, please call our 24-7 hotlines at 1800 subscribe 1800 post notifications, 1800 like, and 1800 share. So, have a great day or night. Jeff for cards. <laughs> Porting.